What's up everybody, Albert L. Avinu here with Fully Deconverted. You can find us on FullyDeconverted.com or on YouTube or on Facebook or on Instagram or wherever. You get the point. The purpose of this video is to be a rebuttal against Pat Robinson. If you guys don't know already, right now, Hurricane Florence is on its way for the east coast of the United States. Specifically, it's pretty much centered in its trajectory on the border between South Carolina and North Carolina, but it's also going to be affecting Virginia, which is where I am. By the way, where I am right now is a mandatory evacuation zone. So let's keep that in mind as we listen to what Pat Robertson has to say. If that hurricane you know, veers off and goes up into the Atlantic, it'll be harmless, no lives will be lost, no property will be damaged. What could be a multi-billion dollar uh, property damage will be averted. And I just believe you and I together, the Bible says, where two of you agree on earth as touching anything that they will ask, it'll be done for them by my Father which is in heaven. He is talking about property damage. I take notice of this whenever I hear religious persons who seem to be very financially well off. I want to know if they got there through some genuine means or if they've got something else on mind. And so far, in his opening statement, he has said nothing about the value of human life. But he is saying that two people who come together and agree on faith in their religious institution uh, can make something like a hurricane change its course. Now this is the same Jesus who you may, commanded the wind and the waves when he was out on the Sea of Galilee. But did he? Did he? He said, peace be still. Uh, I guess that's all we, so we, so we can just line up now on the coast, right? South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, we can just, Christians can just walk out onto the coast and say, peace be still. I mean, you got more than two people. I don't even know why churches haven't thought of this yet. And they said, what manner of man is this? The wind and the waves obey him. They will obey our voice if we are together with one accord. Has that ever happened? Now together, I'm asking all of us to believe God. I don't want that thing to come in. I don't want it to hurt region. I don't want it to hurt CBN. I don't want it to tear up these beautiful campus. I don't want to tear these trees down. I don't want to see any damage. I don't want a bunch of glass flowing. And I don't want all over this area that's counting on us to pray for them. Basically, Pat Robertson does not want a mess on his campus. Missing from that heartfelt statement was anything about the value of human life or anything to do with humans. Other than the fact that he thinks people are counting on him and those who would join him in prayer so that these damages wouldn't occur. So I'm going to ask you right now, put your hand out toward the Atlantic, wherever it is. Because you have to put your hands in the direction where the problem is, right? And let's speak a word right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you say it louder, it's more effective. You Hurricane Florence, we speak to you in the name of Jesus. Hurricane Florence loves it when we let it know that we are speaking to it. Because then we have the hurricane's attention. And we command the storm to cease its forward motion and go harmlessly into the Atlantic. Go up north away from land and veer off in the name of Jesus. That's it. In the name of Jesus, you want to command the forces of nature and the weather patterns that have always been here on Earth to make Hurricane Florence do what? Change its path. That's it. That's as much as you can think to ask for in so much as you do have authority over it in the name of Jesus. Why not just ask for it to disappear? Hmm. I wonder. 
We declare in the name of the Lord that you shall go no farther. You shall do no damage in this area. Damage again, really? We declare a shield of protection all over Tidewater. Who else is thinking Wakanda right now? Somebody go watch Black Panther. All right, let's get on with it. And we declare a shield of protection over those innocent people in the path of this hurricane. In Jesus' holy name. You know, I didn't want to go here. But how does Pat Robertson know that in God's eyes, everybody in the path of the hurricane is innocent? Especially considering that Christians often think that they're in the minority of persons going to heaven. And that God did willingly strike down all the enemies of the Christian state. Or the Jewish state. You know just depending on what point of history you want to talk about right here. Again, how does Pat Robertson know that God isn't enacting his holy justice on South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia? Be out to sea in Jesus' name. Again, you can just ask for it to disappear, Pat. You have the power of a God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, let's praise God. Yes, amen! What, God hasn't even done anything yet! <laughs> but I get it, I used to be a Christian. So I get that you have to thank God first for the thing that he may or may not do in the future for you to increase your odds of him actually doing it. I get it. Thank you, Lord! <laughs> thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! And we will live to mark this day and say, I remember I was there. And when we saw that Hurricane Florence averted, we're going to believe God. And Jesus said, if you, when you speak to the mountain and you don't doubt in your heart, it will do the thing that you command it to do. All right, I, I get what's happening here now. Okay, so Pat Robertson has just introduced the one element that will stop God from doing the thing which God is being asked to do by humans. And that's if either any of them or all of them, because we're a little uncertain on that metric, doubts. Doubt. Do you realize how powerful doubt is? It's almost as if doubt is stronger than God. It's certainly something that condemns everybody else around you uh, to suffer the effects of a hurricane. And if you're the person who doubted, shame, shame. And I believe it in all my heart that if we don't doubt in our faith, this hurricane will be dispelled. We saw it happen in 1960. I've seen it year after year after year. Hurricanes tried to get in here and they couldn't do it. First of all, hurricanes don't try anything. And it, there's nothing unusual about predictable weather patterns and established patterns over decades uh, to say this thing has never occurred here or does not occur here often. There's nothing unusual about that if that is in fact true. But to make your geographical location the focus of hurricanes unable to complete their plan of destruction on your specific location is to ascribe and assign to hurricanes something that all rational, educated, thinking persons beyond the age of five already know isn't true about them. Hurricanes are not thinking to come and destroy Regent University, Pat Robertson. It's almost hilarious to see them try. They try to get in and they can't, and they go north and they turn around and try to come back in, they can't do it. God has put a shield around it, and that shield has been reactivated today. I'm just wondering why that shield isn't always in effect. How does Pat Robertson know that the shield of protection that God placed on Wakanda, I mean, here, Norfolk and Virginia Beach, Virginia, um, hasn't always stayed there? How does he know that the shield of protection had a time limit on it? That's, that's kind of fascinating to me. It's almost as if when trouble is coming, that's when we know there was no power protecting us in the first place. But the best thing to do in a social situation 
is to shape the social psychology and influence it by saying, if you just believe and don't doubt, we will be protected. We are not going to let Hurricane Florence hurt us. In Jesus' name, hallelujah! For Pat Robertson to say that his prayer and those who joined with him in prayer has now protected our area with a shield of protection is something that I find that neither he believes nor does anybody else believe. Number one, here's why. If they really believe that they can stop the hurricane, they can simply just say, stop. And having faith in doing so, it would. If we had power here, why aren't we just praying that it disappears? All right, I'm Aura El Avinu. Again, you can find us at fullydeconverted.com. Stay safe.